How's it going, guys? Uh, this is part two of uh, disassembling the Xbox 360 and cleaning it. Um, what you'll do after you remove the after you've removed the outer shell, uh, you'll want to disconnect your uh, disk drive. You have two wires, a white one and a black one, to squeeze and pull, and they pop right out. And then you just want to lift, uh, lift up and uh, set the uh, drive off to the side. Now, um, you will have a piece of tape. It's like the seal. It's just a full tape and you want to break that or it'll, you'll play hell getting it loose. Just go ahead and break it. Um, you don't want to blow any dust into this. Um, you got two really strong magnets in there and if there's any type of metal particles or in the dust it'll suck them straight into the um, into the laser so uh, don't blow any dust in into your uh, disc unit we'll um, what happens is um, the face of these get clogged up with dust where it sucks the air through and uh, it'll just get coating of uh, dust on it and you'll get some dust on that but this is the your heat sinks um, you want to remove the uh, fan shroud just take your screwdriver in there It's a lot easier with two hands. Stick your uh, screwdriver right in the, the top. What you want to do is kind of walk back and it'll pop loose. And it'll lift it right off. Now, you have access to your fans. You just take your, uh, take your brush and clean your blades up really good now for us these um for us these fans if you're uh, using an air compressor or compressed air you don't want to spin these because uh these have magnets in it also and they'll generate electricity and um back feed your board if you're going to uh, just go ahead and unplug it that's the safest thing to do if you're going to hit it with a big shot of air but uh, just so you know, guys, if you do it, it don't cause many problems in, in on your board from uh, from the electricity generated from these magnets. So just uh, brush and get all your debris and dust out of your heat sinks. It's good, you know, if you've got a bunch of globbed up in there. I've already cleaned this, but uh, if you have a bunch of debris and you really can't see through the, your heat sink. Um, hit it with air but just make sure you uh, disconnect your fan alright guys this is what your uh, board should look like after you finish Not everything nice and clean and while you're brushing just uh, remember if you don't have your anesthetic uh, guard on just keep your, keep one hand always on contact with your uh, the metal of your casing and that will keep any static shock from uh, disrupting your system now that you've got um, everything cleaned up you can start reassembling I would suggest uh, brushing everything down because uh, even with the light the light plastic uh, you'll still have a, a film of dust there that you really can't see I've already washed everything up and uh, cleaned it putting it back together uh, if you're blowing it out remember disconnect your fan and uh, plug it back in before you try to put your fan shroud on because it makes it a lot harder and it'll just snap back in place now you'll take your disk drive I always brush off the uh, bottom of it we'll 
of the disk drive it just don't you know brush on it real fast because you don't want to generate any static electricity uh, I'll also look at these gears and see uh, if there's a dust accumulated in them gears there and I just take my little brush and clean them out as well now we'll just um, put it dry back in red ring issue it's normally your um, either your graphics processor or your central processor is um, has got overheated uh, you know about all the little tips and tricks there's nothing new to this video I'm sure but you don't want to overheat this you don't want to do the towel thing you if if I was to suggest anything I would suggest tilting the board removing this um, running you some um, some uh, liquid um, flux up underneath your boards and uh, do a thorough job of it while tilting it sideways and using a heat gun but that's just a, a temporary fix you got to know there's um, hundreds of little uh, pins and you really can't seat it once it pops off you really can't see it uh, you just really need to have it reballed um, but for a temporary fix you know um, if you don't got the money to have it reballed um, do it correctly get your heat gun some liquid flux and uh, tilt it up let your flux run up underneath it and uh, heat it all right guys drop this back in here um, reconnect our wires on the back um, the wires are normally you know bent to where you they'll only go in one way I like the two finger method, but you can also use a um, use a set of um, hemostats and uh, pinch it on both sides until you set it in there, and then uh, just use your finger for some force to make sure you have a good contact in there. Make sure it's all the way in. Now you just uh, put the case back on and uh, repeat, repeat the procedure. It's uh, pretty simple to do. And uh, if you've got an Xbox, I suggest if, it, if it's six months old, take if you play it a bunch, take it apart and clean it. It'll only take up about an hour of your time, but it'll save you the cost of an Xbox. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Um, Peace out from Texas. Hope this is helpful. Yeah, look how shiny.